page 47, it says, I've got very good at scheduling my life, scheduling the scene and preparing myself for knowing, saving the energy, consuming the energy, knowing when to go for and having the available reserve to be able to do that. You have to think about that because it's endurance. Does anybody think that you didn't get what you wanted because you didn't have the talent or the strength or the commitment to get it? No, you lack endurance. You, you, you're talented enough to do it. You have the strength to do it. You have the commitment to do it. Recovery, I mean. Living a lifestyle different from the lifestyle we used to do. But you, did, you lack endurance. You just never, you can never break through that threshold. You lack endurance. And that's why you have, you have to get through it. And one of the um, things that I always tell people is when you face with the opportunity to do something wrong, press through. You don't have to do it. Press through that. And on the opposite side of something wrong is something good for you. But we just lack endurance. We never get to that part where we want to press through. We have to press through. Everybody say press. 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 It's a Bible verse. It's Hebrews 10, 36. It says, you have need of endurance so that after you have done God's will, you may receive the promise. Every time you get ready to do something and it wants to negatively, anything negative is trying to stop you from getting the promise. That's how I know every time I get faced with some type of situation that's not good for my life, I always press through. I used to, I used to run from it and just say, ah, y'all don't want to give me the job. Yeah, y'all, yeah, because I did drugs, committed crime. Yeah, all right, whatever, then I'll leave. But not knowing, I, I should have tried the business down the street. If I would have said, okay, you don't want to hire me. That's not every business on a Every business on that road, I could have pressed through it and tried. But every time I got to the part where it was some type of resistance, I just said, you know, I'm done. I'm going back to get out. They don't want to give me a job. And now, and sometimes I was in facilities where they say we hire you before I went home, like you can stay and work here. But I left the program, went out there, didn't get a job, and went back to you, not even realizing. They would have hired me. You know what I was worried about? Wasn't enough money. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, there ain't enough money. Now I don't got no money, and I'm using it. So I'm sitting there like, you're dumb. <laughs> you could have took that not enough money and still had, still been so but still, but I didn't, I lacked endurance. I didn't endure. So you have to have <coughs> endurance. Third 48. It says, thought for the day. Come what may, all bad fortunes is to be conquered by what? Doris. All bad fortune. Uh, the only thing that you would need to do while you're in the enduring stage, this ain't in your book. The only thing, that, yeah, I'm going I'm to help y'all out too. All the people who are facilitating, it's like a facilitator's manual too. So you'll have your own facilitator's manual. Because some of y'all going to be facilitating my adjustments program. Ask me how I know. I don't know. I'm just saying. <coughs> some of y'all going to be doing this. That's my purpose. I don't do it without trying to get people to stir them up. They're like, yo, come on. You can do this too. But the thing about minor adjustment facilitators, y'all all going to have your own unique styles. I don't want you to be like me. I want you to actually be like you. Because the joy of coming and seeing you facilitate a program <coughs> and me and my wife come and see you up there or in your community doing it, you know how good that feels? Like you helping your community and we come and you got your own unique style and you're doing it. It makes us feel so good. We cry at stuff like that. Like, go oh boy, do it. Go, young lady, you can do it. Because we have the baton mentality, my wife and I. This is the type of spirit we got. In a, in a race, in, in, in a <coughs> four by 100 relay, they have one baton, four runners. When one run, he passed to the next person. When the next person run, they pass it to the next person. When the last person get over the finish line, if they win, what they all do? Celebrate. They all celebrate. So if we get something that God gave us, we pass the baton, you run, pass the baton,
baton, when y'all all get over the finish line, even though I was the first runner, <coughs> we all celebrate. That's the type of stuff I want. It ain't just about me or my wife. It's about you, it's about you, it's about you, and it's about your communities, building up our communities. Because honestly, the drugs and stuff is tearing our communities up. But we need giant killers. We need people to come up, raise themselves up, and change their communities. I don't want to die and have people talk about how much drugs I did. I want to leave this earth having people talking about how much change I created. I want them to talk about how much people, how many people we tried to help, how many people we tried to inspire.